And now we begin a succession of boring storms that occurred in the Atlantic. First of all, Tropical Storm Grace, which peaked with winds of 50 miles an hour and a pressure of 1,002. Henri did a similar thing to the east of Bermuda, um, reached 50 miles an hour, though it was only 40 operationally. Uh, and then it was Tropical Depression 9, which was only a weak depression with a pressure of 1,006. Um, in the Central Atlantic as well and similarly in the East Pack in August we had Tropical Depression 11E which didn't do anything either. Now that we've got those out of the way let's take a look at some other cyclones and let's take a look at Hurricane Kilo. Uh, this storm started out life as a weak tropical storm south of Hawaii then was, became a tropical depression for some time and then eventually it got into gear and became a category 4 on two occasions before crossing the international date line and maintained typhoon intensity for it felt like an age before finally dissipating near Japan. Uh, there's an image of it in its formative stage. This was one of the early model runs showing it, it becoming a category 4 after remaining a weak tropical storm for some time. It was almost right, the track a bit wrong though and there it is near its peak intensity there as a category 4 storm. Whilst Kilo was active to the east, I think it was, Loki formed in August and became a hurricane as it moved towards the north. It um, sparked some hurricane warnings for some parts of the offshore Hawaiian islands. And there's an image of Kilo and to its east we had this little storm called Ignacio in the East Pacific which became a Category 4. Uh, there were three Cat 4 storms at the same time indeed, you'll find out which other one did it as well. 145 miles an hour, pressure of 942, passed safely to the north of Hawaii before turning post-tropical. And then we had to the east, Himena. Uh, the third of the Category 4 parade that went on in the Eastern Pacific and Central Pacific at that time. 150 miles an hour, that was the strongest of them and lasted quite a while as well as a Category 4 too um, before passing north of Hawaii and then turning sort of towards Hawaii but not quite and dissipating near the islands. And then we move on to Tropical Storm Coleman, one of the deadliest storms of the year so far worldwide, believe it or not, in late July. A weak tropical storm that made landfall in Bangladesh, causing 170 fatalities, damages unknown. Chan Hom then formed in the Western Pacific, and after dilly-dallying for a while to the southeast of the Mariana Islands, it passed through the chain and then really got its act together near the Japanese Miyako and Yayama Islands as we see so often in that area becoming a category 4 at that point before giving China a close run and then striking uh, the Korean Peninsula eventually. Uh, here's some radar imagery of the storm's passage just to the east of eastern China not too far from Shanghai uh, that's what it looked like at its closest approach uh, and also for South Korea as well that radar's coming up in a moment too. This storm caused over a billion dollars in damages and took the lives of six. Then, around the same time, we had Typhoon Linfa, which became a typhoon eventually on approach to China after passing through Luzon as a tropical storm. Here's radar imagery coming out of Taiwan, because initially uh, it was sort of heading that way before curving off towards the west and ending up over Chinese lands. Over $218 million of damages resulted from this storm. Uh, though there are no reported fatalities. And then Super Typhoon Nanka narrowly avoided becoming a Category 5 storm as it passed over the Mariana Islands again, uh, striking Japan though as a Category 1 and caused over $150 million of damages. The 925 millibar Super Typhoon also took the lives of two. Finally in this part, Tropical Storm 12W, a weak tropical storm that wasn't named, at least not by the JTWC or the JMA, reached a peak wind speed of 45 miles an hour near the end of July as it moved edged away from the Philippines without any drastically bad effects. 